Hi, this is your uh, kindergarten math team consisting of Mrs. Meckle, Mrs. Sullivan, Mrs. Hannigan, and Mrs. Halbert. Um, we're just going to explain to you what we've been doing in math, where we're headed in math, and what we've been doing in science and social studies, and where we're headed, and then how that you can help us at home. So some things that we've been learning in math are selecting objects and counting orally to 10, counting forward 1 through 15 and backwards 15 to 1, writing numbers 0 to 10, counting to 60 beginning with 1, and then again at any given point, such as counting from 32 to 60. Decomposing numbers 5 to 10. Decomposing means breaking down numbers into two different parts. So an example would be five would be broken down into two and three. We are also comparing numbers up to 10 using vocabulary more than and less than. One more and one less. Students are to find the number that is one more than a number and one less than a number. Adding and subtracting to five, they have to represent that by showing a model and then writing the number sentence. And then subitizing to 10. Subitizing is when the students are able to instantly recognize a quantity without counting. Okay, so where we're headed in math is we're going to get into collecting data and graphing. And um, the different types of graphs that we use are gonna be picture graphs and then real object graphs. Um, we're going to be start working with 11 through 15, that's writing, recognizing, and representing those numbers. Um, they need to be able to recite numbers to 100, starting from one and then at any other point. So one to 100 and then maybe like 56 to 100. Um, then we'll be getting into addition and subtraction to 10 and that's representing and writing number sentences as well. In science, we've been learning what is a scientist and how to stay safe when we're doing science. Properties of objects such as heavier, lighter, bigger, and smaller. Exploring energy, energy such as sound, light, and thermal. Exploring position and motion, so how um, objects move in a zigzag pattern, straight line, curvy, around and around. And coming up, we're going to be exploring earth materials such as wa rocks, water, and soil. In social studies, we've been learning about my home and my classroom. We've learned routines, rules, procedures, expectations for being in school. Our school community, we've talked about the authority figures in our classroom locating different places in our school. We've talked about our daily schedules, timelines. We've also practiced saying the pledges and recognizing the flags. Coming up in social studies will be geography and places. We're gonna learn about maps, landforms, bodies of water, weather, places people live, um, the clothing they wear, relative location of places. So some things that you could help your child with at home for math would be practice counting all the way to 100, adding and subtracting to 10 and having them write that number sentence, recognizing and writing numbers zero to 20 and subitizing. And you can use things such as a dice or dominoes and just flashing those up to them and having them recognize that number instantly. Um, in science and social studies, you can talk about how they should dress for the weather. If it's cold, they should wear a jacket or if it's hot, they should wear shorts and a t-shirt and practice that vocabulary such as over, under, beside, behind, in front of. Um, I hope these things will help your, you can help your child at home and to help better their education. Thank you. Hi families, we are the kindergarten reading teachers and we want to talk to you a little bit about some things going on in your child's reading class. We have had a great start to the year. We've been doing a lot of um, learning, having a lot of fun, and we just want to let you know what we've been doing, uh, where we're headed, and how you can help at home. So a couple things that we've already uh, covered this year, being good listeners uh, while we listen to a story, uh, facing the speaker, keeping their body still, hands in lap. The letters that we've covered are listed here. They are also sent home in a bi-weekly newsletter. And we've been working on forming those letters properly um, with the correct strokes. So um, the, there is some practice that's going home for those letters and uh, handwriting as well. 
We're working on recognizing the beginning sounds of words that we hear. We're working on recognizing rhyming words. Uh, nursery rhymes um, are a great way to practice those. Um, hearing them, singing them, those kinds of things. If your child can memorize nursery rhymes and recite them, they're going to have a good handle on rhyming words. We're also working on counting syllables in words and counting the number of words in a sentence. Usually we use our fingers or clap our hands to count those. We're, we also have worked on holding a book properly, turning the pages, um, reading from left to right, top to bottom. For the rest of the semester, kind of where we're headed, we're going to be talking about blending sounds to make words. And an example of that is k -a -t. The student needs to be able to hear that that word, when you blend it together, is the word cat. We'll be working on reading CBC words. What that means is a consonant, vowel, consonant word. Words like sat, fit, zap. So we'll be putting our letter knowledge and our sound knowledge to the test and be doing uh, CBC words. We'll also cover the rest of the alphabet and the capital letters. We're going to be working on comprehension skills such as visualizing um, and making predictions. So visualizing is when as you read a story, you're making a mental image and that helps you to understand the story. Um, also looking at the pictures that the story provides, using those as clues to understand what might be happening if we don't understand what's being read. Um, making predictions before the story happens, looking at the front cover, what do you think is going to happen? And then during the story, maybe pausing in the middle um, and the student will predict what might happen next. And finally, we'll be working on writing a complete sentence. We're talking about nouns, verbs, and so putting those together to make a whole sentence, writing a sentence with a capital letter, and punctuation at the end. A couple of ways that you can help your child at home. Um, the most important one is to read, read, read. Um, children who read or are read to at home for 15 to 20 minutes, um, the hearing that reading fluency when someone reads aloud to them is important. Um, they're hearing more words, more vocabulary, and they're getting enjoyment out of reading, reading with someone in their family. So that's a great way to help your child. Um, after you read, you can ask questions during uh, reading with your child, maybe have them make a prediction, ask them why they think that. Um, naming the letters in order without singing the alphabet. So being able to know what letter comes before or after a particular letter, um, that will help when we move to alphabetical order. The foundations packets, um, that's the letter formation, the handwriting things that will go home. Um, working on the formation with your child is important to do. Also just easy things like when you're at the store or in the car, looking for letters, looking for numbers, looking for words that they might know is something really easy to do. Um, things like chalk or shaving cream are a great way to practice writing letters, writing sight words. So just making it fun, keeping it simple. We appreciate everything that you do for your child.